What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Riverdale video if you're new. Make sure you leave your theories, comments, everything down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of Riverdale, if you love Riverdale, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any Riverdale news. Now, this is a video about Riverdale and the time jump that's confirmed for season five. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff going down for season five, like prom and graduation and stuff like that, because we didn't see any of that in season four. It ended with killing Mr. Honey, and we didn't get to see the prom, the graduation, because they had to cut the season early due to COVID-19. So we got a lot of things planned for season five. And in my opinion, they're probably going to do something like this. They're going to cut season five into two different parts. Part one is going to be um, the story that we left off on in season four, the end of the story, it's going to be prime and graduation and everything with the Mr. Honey stuff. And then part two of season five is going to be the five year time jump. And it's going to show their lives after everything that happened in high school. It's going to show them go to college and it's going to show them working these jobs and all this and that. And I'm not sure if Betty and Jughead are still going to be together. It's not looking good, to be honest, because they keep teasing Betty and Archie, which I'm not a fan of. But if it happens, it happens because it's out of my control. I'm not one of the writers, but if I was, I would not write that into the script. But yeah, like I said, the CW series Riverdale was forced to end earlier than planned due to everything going on in the world. It's crazy out here and it just left viewers on the major cliffhanger of Archie and Betty, their secret kiss. Everybody's just wondering what's going to be happening with them. And I just hope they don't end up together. That's just me, man. That's just me. But um, the executive producer and showrunner Roberto Aguacacosta has now told TV Line that the fifth season will move forward several years in time after their senior year. It's going to skip their university arc entirely. So we're not going to see too much of them in college. You know, they might flash back and show a little bit of them in college, but it's going to pretty much skip that entire arc because... We know they're going to be attending college for four years and it's going to skip five years into the future. So we're going to see a year after they graduate from college. And it's just going to be interesting to see what they're all going to be doing, what kind of jobs they're going to have, who they're going to be with relationship wise, who if they're going to be married or not. Um, if you guys have seen Katie Keen, then, you know, um, that takes place six years after the events of Riverdale. And Josie went over to Katie Keen. So we already know what she's going to be doing in the future. She's trying to become a music star. And she's with Katie. And she's doing all kinds of stuff. Um, I never personally watched the whole season. I watched one episode. But I still know what it's about. And that's in the Riverdale universe. And also Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I never checked that out. But yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see where they take the show five years after season four that's just going to be interesting to see we know a good amount of details for season five so far we don't know everything but the writer added that the time jump will likely not kick off the fifth season so we won't see the time jump when the season starts like i said before because he pretty much wants to complete the final three episodes that were originally supposed to air episode 20 21 and 22 of season four he wants to complete those episodes and put them in the beginning of season five because we know season four was shut down by COVID-19. And it's just unfortunate because so many shows have been shutting down production due to this unfortunate event. And it seriously sucks because a lot of shows are ending early. They're doing a lot of season finales early and it's making the show not as good. The shows that they're doing this to, it makes it not as good because the episode that they're making the season finale doesn't even seem like a season finale. So they're trying to pack everything into one episode and it's just not working. Now, Sakasa had previously confirmed that Skeet Ulrich and Maricel Nichols, if you guys know, these are the actors who play F.P. Jones and Hermione Lodge. Um, they're not going to be returning for season five. And that really sucks because I really like their characters. I really like F.P. Jones. But yeah, they will be returning, though, for the previously delayed episodes, like the first three episodes of season five. They're going to be returning for that. 
But after that, when they do the time jump, apparently um, they're going to be leaving the show. So F.P. Jones and Hermione Lodge are probably going to get killed off. I mean, if not, then they're going to say that they went somewhere, they left town, and um, they went on with their life outside of Riverdale. So I don't know what they're going to say, but um, I'm kind of upset about these two characters leaving because I really like these two characters. Now, this is what the showrunner said. He said, they'll be back for those episodes. When this all went down, I reached out to all of the cast and I reached out to Maricel and Skeet and said that we haven't finished those stories yet. And we want to make sure that you guys have great send offs. And personally, I couldn't agree more with what he said because um, I want to see them go out with a bang. I want to see them um, have a happy ending. I don't want to see them get killed or anything like that. So just based off the fact that he said that, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have a happy ending. I don't think they're going to kill him. So that kind of makes me happy. But yeah, that's pretty much all the things that we can expect for season five. For one, the time jump. Um, two, Skeet Ulrich and Marisol Nichols, they're going to be gone. Um, it's going to be a different show, obviously, because there's a time jump and there's going to be a lot of different things going on. And we're not going to have some of the characters we had before, the characters that we loved. So it's going to be a completely different show. Um, and I'm going to say that I'm here for it regardless because it's such a good show. So I'm here for whatever. I'm going to continue to watch the show. I have a feeling season five is going to be really, really good. I guess we just got to wait and see. Now, unfortunately, season five probably won't air in October of 2020 like it usually does every year. We're probably going to have to wait till January 2021. That's what they're talking about due to COVID-19. So um, hopefully... There's an update on that, and hopefully they change it. We just got to wait and see. We got to be patient. But yeah, that's what we can expect from season five, a major time jump. They might even do farther than five years in the future. Uh, that's kind of pushing it, maybe, but I guess we just got to wait and see. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think going to happen in season five. What do you want to happen? And who do you want to be together relationship-wise? Who do you think is going to be together? Just comment everything down below your thoughts, opinions, and everything else. Comment your predictions and let me know what you think. I'll be continuing to bring you guys more Riverdale content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.